You're right on time. October 28th, Thursday. I'm John Zadar. You're watching On The Top and Hot. These are brought to you by Penny Boys. Yeah, they got those PB alerts everybody loves. They put money in your pockets. But the PB University is going to put more money in your pocket when you know how to do this on a regular basis. So what I do here is I look at penny stocks and OTC stocks that are, well, ready to move. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Maybe we're just catching a startup phase and we're getting in on it early, which is what we're doing today. Now, we looked at some stocks yesterday and a couple of them did pretty good and we're going to bounce in and take a look at that. But first, I want to talk about what was big news today on Bloomberg. Bloomberg was talking about metaverse. Now, you've heard me talking about NFTs off and on a lot here lately. NFTs exist in the metaverse. The metaverse is a virtual reality world. If you've ever seen Ready Player One, that is what a metaverse is. It's where your avatar and other avatars can go and play with each other, talk to each other, shop with each other. You can do anything in a virtual world plus more. Lots of gaming going on. This is the metaverse. Now this is also what Facebook is turning to. Facebook has Horizon. Horizon is going to be their metaverse. That is why Facebook is changing and going away. They're not going to be an online chat. They're going to be an interactive three-dimensional world that you can visit and interact in. Now this was actually shown today on Bloomberg. Now can you tell that that's not Mark Zuckerberg? Look close. That is virtual reality, folks. And I'm not going to say it's at its best. That's virtual reality just getting started. We are in the babe stages of this. And it is growing fast. It is entertainment. It is gambling. It is shopping. It is NFTs. And NFTs have gone from making $13 million in a quarter to making $10 billion in a quarter in the last year. Not to be overlooked, folks. So, let's jump into some of these companies I found. Uh, there are lots of big companies in this realm. Uh, you have Microsoft, Facebook, Shopify, all these big companies, Nineveh, they're in it. But we're not going to look at the huge companies. We're going to look at the smaller ones. And there's not a lot of middle ground. You're either very big or you're very small. So we're looking at very small startup companies on the OTC market in Involved with the metaverse, not just NFTs. So let's see what I found. So I'm over here at the otcmarkets.com where you can get all the current information on OTC stocks. This is where the SEC and FINRA put that information for me and you. So you can count on it being current and legitimate. The first stock we are taking a look at got a beautiful ticker name. You got to love it. Smurf. S-M-U-R-F. This is tokens.com core. They are at 89 cents currently did 6.2% gains today, and they are on the QB. This is the better market. That's actually what they call it, the better market. You have the pinks, which are your bottom tier, which don't have as much transparency and information. The QB, they put their information out there. All their financials are audited. And the top tier is QX. These are the best stocks you can find on the OTC market. So they are a nice, qualified company. They have independent directors, which is a token sign that they want to uplist. You can never uplist without them, so they've got those already. So this all looks good. Let's see what sort of volume they did today. The company didn't do a whole heck of a lot more volume, uh, about 80% more, jumped from 175,000 to 294,000. What is her share count? Uh, not bad at all. She's got about 43 million. You're not going to brag about it, but it's really nothing to complain about. And has she got any money coming in right now? Doesn't appear to have anything filed that we can see. Even checking the quarterlies maybe? No. So, this company is in the metaverse arena. They have just made a deal here. Now, we're looking at the news, which can really give you like bullets of uh, history that you can look at. Just here recently, they had $12 million as a private placement. Somebody, a big investor, invested $12 million, didn't buy it from the shares on the market. It was different special types of shares, but they did invest $12 million. Then you had another one here for $10 million. So you can see there's a lot of interest going on in this company. This is just in two days. 
They had $22 million invested into them by big whales. Uh, this is where I was coming down to, though. Tokens.com, the closing of its acquisition of 50% of Metaverse Group, one of the world's first virtual real estate companies. This is a fake world, and everything that you can imagine is in there because they can make it. I mean, there are streets, there are buildings, there are street lights and corners, there's games. Anything here is going to be taken over there, and anything here can be sold in there. Anything here can be advertised in there. There's advertising space on buildings, and you know, it's going to be a special world with all the same features of this world. And this is the actual site that they have bought 50% in. You can buy and rent land. Look at here, buying and selling of virtual real estate, full property management, finding a rental within the metaverse to fit any need. Folks, I was reading a site today, the cheapest piece of property went for 4,000 Canadian dollars and they're reselling for a lot more than that. A company can buy a corner lot, if you will, for a million dollars because they can put a billboard up there and they can put their advertising there in this fake world and it'll always be there when you walk by. Yeah, when you walk by in the virtual world. So this is what they've got. It's very special. It's very new. It's going to kick out. Everybody's getting involved and everybody wants to be a part of a 3D virtual reality world rather than looking at a flat screen hitting keys. So what does the stock look like for Smurf? All right, I do all my charting on TOS. That's short for Think or Swim. It's absolutely free. You can get it from TD Ameritrade. That is also absolutely free to sign up for. Just get yourself an account, keep the account open. You don't have to trade on it. And voila, you've got this too. All right, so we're looking at Smurf, S-M-U-R-F, six month, four hour. Looks like a big bowl, a mighty big bowl going on right there. She's had a lot of strength here in the last month and it looks strong. Uh, let's come in on the five minute. Now, of course, we're not talking about this as a short term play. We're just kind of getting a feel for the stock. The metaverse is growing. We're looking at this as a baby in a cradle. So you don't want to go buying any clothes for it and spending too much money. It's going to outgrow them all. So this is, something to consider as a potential big, big gain in the future. I think we're in on this early, folks. I think we're in on it, as to tell you the truth, when Bloomberg was talking about this, they were lost for words how to try to describe it. They just didn't know how to go about it. And really, there's nothing more to it than it's this world in a fake world. And we get to come into it through avatars and experience it as if we're there because 3D is around us rather than just in front of us. It's gonna be big, folks. It is going to be huge. So we can see there was some interest today. And I don't know, uh, it was sometime in the afternoon that that Bloomberg uh, information came out. So we may wanna just, as we're looking at these stocks, see if any of them took a bounce just from being on Bloomberg. So again, let's take that four hour, six month look. She's in a big bowl and it is just now getting hot, folks. It is now picking up energy. So we expect this to continue growing and the price right now is 83 cents. Her high was $1.11. She hit a low here of 18 cents, but can you really call that a low? It's down here all by its lonesome. Never got down there before. Its closest low truly is right about there at about 30, 28 cents. And right now it's 89 cents. And when you consider that their competitors are all huge companies at hundreds of dollars, this is a real good price for getting into a game early. And real estate is where it all begins. They own 50% of this company, which owns it manages property and lots of different metaverses. There's more than one metaverse. Each one of these big companies is going to own their own metaverse, their own world, their own universe. And you're going to be able to go to this world or that world and they're going to be different. They're going to be whatever the creators create. So this is a starting place and I think Smurf could do very well just selling real estate. It is big money, believe it or not. 
The next stock we're taking a look at is actually on the NASDAQ. It sure is. NASDAQ, I am looking at this on the OTC market too, so don't think they restrict themselves simply to the OTC stocks. You can get information on other stocks here as well. This is Color Star Technology. Uh, they are at 65 cents. They went up about 8% today. They're in good shape. Uh, let's see what their volume was today. Relatively speaking, they only do about 6 million shares a day. Today, they did about four times that many, just over 20 million. Their share structure uh, looks to be about 112 million. I would presume that would be it. Now, what has caught my attention to this, because there really wasn't a lot to see, was some news. Now, this news wasn't listed over on the OTC market. Sometimes they'll put all the listings over there. Sometimes there's none. So you do have to leave to get information. Here we go with Color Star Technology continues to create new updates for Metaverse Project. Now, this is a very interesting company. They work with pieces, if you will. They tell us here that they are an entertainment technology company with global network that focuses on the application of technology and artificial intelligence in the entertainment industry. Um, right here, it says that Colorstar has already completed creation of Metaverse Virtual Humans, Metaverse Simulation Scenes, Metaverse Virtual Reality, and Non-Fungal Token Scenes. NFTs are actually like artwork there, very expensive artwork that you hang up. They have museums that you can go into and see the most expensive NFTs. Yeah, yeah, they've got a lot of weird things. Um, Colorstar continues to invest heavily in the research and development. Now, check this out. This is why they're in the entertainment section and development of 3d scenes and online virtual reality concert sections with the 3d version to be applied to online interactive celebrity videos shopping and other upcoming projects this is to bring the consumers closer to celebrities closer to fantasy closer to uh you know that dream life it's a way of getting bragging rights there's all sorts of fantasy ego self-esteem uh ultra persona you know there's lots of imagination here like a video game but this is immersive you are in it like water and this is going to be bloody hot folks i just can't see this stuff going downhill from here not with the money being invested uh, the color scheme metaverse series is part of the world of online entertainment where global users can interact with their favorite idols and even use their avatars in the metaverse though the color star app uses will have access to entertainment, social networking, games, and many other functions. Social media, gaming, shopping, it's not going to be separate sites. It's going to be one universe, one metaverse. You're going to go into it, and it may be goggles, it may be glasses, it may be contact lenses. No, I doubt there'll be a wire hanging out of the contact lens. They're going to have to figure something out here, the most micro battery you ever seen or not seen. So, what does the chart look like for this stock? Our NASDAQ stock here at uh, six months, four hours. She had a strong February like most did and lost it all. Had some strength in here, you know, probably some NFTs, maybe a piece of their, their news, but it did fall off. There's no doubt. And it hit a low bubble and just went sideways. Now, I prefer to see a bounce off of a low bubble. But, I mean, yeah, you can see there is a little that did come up, I'll give it credit where credit is due. So it came up off of that low bubble and is still meandering sideways until here recently. Here recently it started to pick up some volume, quite a lot of volume. Now it's not a ton of volume, but relative to what it's used to getting, yeah, that's a lot of volume. And even after market, even after market, you can see this has a lot of interest. As a matter of fact, most of the interest is after market, which is where you get your institutional buyers. Uh, your bigger shoppers come in after market, and you can see the interest here every single day. That's when it's peaking. Now, understand, you can sell your stock during aftermarket hours. Sure you can. You don't have to have any special permission. Just hold the stock. Make sure when you go to sell it that you put in extended hours, EXT. It can be 
a limit extended, day extended, good till cancel extended, as long as it's extended, then you can sell your shares too. So you could take advantage of one of these pops. And again, right there, we have another pop at the end of the day. It just keeps going. So we've got a lot of attention and that's what's happening right now. We're just building up the heat. I don't expect to see something running already. Hopefully we won't. We don't want them running. You want to get in as cheap as you can, right? We're showing you right now stocks and I'm going to tell you, the stocks I have today, that's all I could find. I can't find anymore. Now, there are hundreds of other companies, VR companies, hardware companies. I got a page I'll flash up before I go down tonight. There are lots of companies that are going to do peripheral work. They're going to make lots and lots of money doing this. But there's only about seven companies that are actually focused on the metaverse as a whole right now. So, this looks like it is interesting. At a good price, we are at 65 cents. What was her high? Let's go back that six months. $2.67, which is pretty bloody cheap in the virtual reality, augmented reality, NFT, metaverse world. That is just a low price. And it's down here at 65. It's showing some energy. We can see that uh, we have a good curvature going on here. So she looks like she wants to come up and I think she's going to come up just because she's in the right bath water. You keep pouring water in, the water rises. Every boat on that water rises with it. This thing is going to rise. Now this next stock, you can call it truly a ground floor opportunity on all levels. They are at two cents right now. They did drop five percent today. Pink current, Got all their green ticks, so they're in good shape. We got no problem with that. One World Universe is their name. Uh, what was their relative volume today? Was there any interest? Well, there was about 50% more volume than usual. Not really a whole lot to take notice of. And her share structure, uh, about 58 million, which isn't too bad at all. And let's see if she has any money coming in yet. Seems a lot of these companies definitely have nothing. So she has no income. She's very cheap. And the truth of the matter is she isn't even in the business yet. You can see that she is got her fingers into a lot of different things. Uh, back here in February, they negotiated with Medical Marijuana Inc., a subsidiary of Hemp Meds, very big company. Actually, the very first cannabis company ever to be listed in the USA was me Medical Marijuana. Um, then up here, you can see they uh, announced the creation of Global Security Transport announced the completion of a motion picture, MVP. So they've got things they're doing, but it was within this last piece of uh, information, the PR they gave us, that they tell us what they're actually doing. They obviously want an acquisition. We are being very calculated in deciding which companies we feel make the most sense, have the most potential, and which will ultimately most benefit the company and the existing shareholders. We are currently looking at sports-related businesses with long histories of success and priceless relationships. Um, two other options uh, that any sound business-minded person cannot ignore, NFTs, the blockchain and crypto mining. And then the third one down here, last, our mentioning of One World Metaverse. As Spark negotiations with a respectable NFT creative lab group developing a platform in which individuals can use their NFTs as avatars within the metaverse. This will give unique users the ability and freedom to express their individualism and show off the NFT ownership. That's what I keep telling you. NFTs are truly about bragging rights. You buy an NFT, you may be the only one that owns it, but that's all you own is the ownership rights. It's not like you're actually holding the picture or there's a, a token in your hand. There's no document or piece of paper. There's nothing. And what you own, most people can see for free anywhere. The only difference is they can't get any money out of theirs. You have ownership and you can sell the ownership, kind of like an option, if you will, on the market. You really aren't holding the stock, you're holding the contract to control the stock. And that's what sort of an NFT is like. So you got this company that is looking to get into metaverse, looking to get into NFTs. So this is something to put on your watch list. Hasn't got there yet, but at this price, this could be a real big winner. Let's go see what the stock looks like on the charts. 
So we're looking at OWUV. You got your six month on one side and your five day on the other side. You can see that she has been riding downhill and had a, and this is about the same time period as the last one jumped. There must have been some attention going on in the NFT world. It's getting hot and cold, hot and cold, and it's picking up momentum each time it gets hot. It hit a low bubble back here, and let's draw a line there. You can see we're not to that low bubble yet. We're about right in this area here. Now that is the low area. It fell and came back up and it's bouncing on that right now. If it goes below this, it's going to be your best buying opportunity because chances are it is not going below that low. So if it falls below here, which is at uh, 0187 about, if it falls below that line, and let's see if we, ah, that's the buy. And you can buy anywhere in there. We would expect it to bounce off this low bubble. Now, I expect it to actually bounce off of here. I expect that to bounce off here. But in either case, two cents, one cents. Now, I like one cent better. One cent gets to two cents. You've already doubled your money. Two cents has to go all the way to four cents before you double your money. But they're both real little moves, right? You can double your money very quick. This thing gets to 10 cents. That's five times your money. It gets to a quarter. You got you know 12 times your money hits a dollar you got 50 times your money and we're talking about a company that's going into some of the biggest arenas I can imagine I think it's gonna make the internet old-fashioned I'm telling you folks I think this is gonna put computers to shame tablets to shame any of the devices we've been hanging on to in our hands I think those are all gonna fall to the wayside like the iPod just what I think so I think this is a great buy-in. Doesn't matter what it looks like on the five minute, but we can look at it just to see if the news made any indent today and it didn't. Now, is that all the way over? It is. So we're way down here low. Did it actually, oh, it came up. It hit that low and came up. It did drop right below that line that we just drew. Just barely. I told you, it doesn't want to go below that line. So if it does, snag it. Snag it. It isn't going to stay there long. And that's the best price you're going to get. A penny. Oh, bloody hell. So I like this one. I just put it on your watch list. I'm not saying buy it yet. But when they make a decision, when they put out a PR, it's going to be too late. Everybody will be buying it. And you'll be buying it on the news, which will be the most expensive it's probably ever been. Hint, though, you can watch the filings come in. OTC market puts them in real time. If you see an 8K come in for this ticker, OWUV, the 8K comes out before the press release. You can actually read the filing. They're only this big. They're very small. And it'll say, you know, it'll tell you they have purchased or acquired this company. And boom, you know it before the press release came out. Go get yourself some shares. So, Either way, sports betting wasn't a bad one they wanted to get into either. Both are exploding right now. Sports betting is going to be big just because gambling has always been here and people love to do it. If you can give them a legal way to do it, they're just going to do it more. But, you know, responsibly now. And metaverse, I'm telling you folks, how big is the universe? As big as the metaverse. <laughs> it's going to get huge. So this is an ideal opportunity. Now, this next company we're taking a look at was a difficult one to find because they had a deal a while ago which mentioned it, but they don't talk about it very much. This is ePlay Digital, E-P-Y-F-F. -F. Now, this company makes mobile games, sports games normally. They got Howie Mandel game here uh, and lots of other games, and they've sold them to Time Warner, Cable, ESPN, Sony Pictures. They, they've got a well strong reputation you can see currently they are just over 10 cents and they did five percent up today pink current i don't see any other information here but i don't see anything to worry about either all right what was their volume today less less than they normally do which is pretty shy 14,000 shares 15,000 a day and they did just over 10,000 so nobody's paying attention folks nobody's noticing and this one really caught my attention and I'm not even into sports but I know how big sports can be how is her share count well 
we got 71 million outstanding that's all we know so we know it's at no more than 71 million which isn't a bad float you know but it's actually going to be lower than that so that's probably what we're going to have to deal with and do we have any money on the books not shown here now it is a foreign company they may file uh have it somewhere else because i get the feeling this company's probably got some money up their sleeve somewhere all right the reason i said i was taking notice of this company was because of its news now you can see we've got news here e ePlay announces sports app Fan Freak submitted to App Store. They have Fan Freak, which is a fan's uh, app, which is leaning towards gaming and betting. So they are working their foot into gaming and making some money in there. Uh, they also announced, and this is the one that got my attention, Sports Metaverse compatible with Clocked. Big Shot and Fan Freak. Now I want to come in and read this because there are some good pieces of news here that really show you how big this company can get. Because it's not just about what you're doing, but it's what you're doing it with. What have you got? And you got to remember, NFTs deal with IP, that is intellectual property. Having someone's name, their image, their sound, their movie. There's so much you can do with it. I figure every single movie studio is going to get into NFTs. Look at all the movies they've made. They could make an NFT for E.T. And somebody wants to pay good money for, for that. And they could sell every Marvel movie. And, you know, it can get really huge. So here you go. Clocked World, a virtual sports world in augmented reality. The Clocked World virtual real estate platform allows users to purchase property, purchase landmarks, natural wonders, stadiums, race courses, baseball fields, golf courses, and then they can sell them or redevelop them and add whatever they want to them. Now, the company ePlay is working with Clocked World and they are compatible. And they have lots of games that they are now putting into the metaverse. And it says right here, um, and all these games and others making a significant technology contribution to augmented reality and virtual reality metaverse. Tying components of ePlay sports games together with Clocked World Platform brings new revenue opportunities, partners, and intellectual property to the company. Now, this is what got my interest here. ePlay is working with sports brands, teams, and leagues to create sports-themed virtual worlds, ultra-rare sporting moments as NFTs, and secondary markets for gambling and virtual event hosting. Folks, if you can get big-name brand sport leagues involved in this if you can get a company to actually have the the dallas cowboys or the detroit tigers or you know w wf i don't know any sport i told you i'm not into sports if you have big sports names you're going to have big sports products and you're going to have big sports money and if they can mix all that with games and socializing i see this as being huge this one is at 10 cents right now, and I think it has a chance of launching with all that it is doing. And going back to that news, just so you can see the rest of what they had going, because we stopped at the bottom. ePlay announces clocked public beta release on Apple app, so you know, it's out there. Announces Canadian launch of clocked fitness app. Uh, announces major update of Outbreak approved for Apple and Google stores. Approval of Fan Freak app. Boom! And the ePlay wallet. Didn't know they had a wallet. And announced clocked mass participation events with live sports net streaming. So, you know, this is uh, all in two months. All of that's happened in two months. Constant growing, constant evolving, and Metaverse is just getting bigger for them to grow in. Let's go see what the chart looks like. Now, keep in mind that this stock is thinly traded, so we come in too close, it's gonna get very sparse, you're gonna get big bars up there, E-P-Y-F-F. -F. Had a big bounce here in uh, June, the middle of June, fell a lot and is down low again. Now, it's not its lowest, it was at a very low point here back then, and its average is about right there, you can see that's, so it's about right where, right there. 
So it's actually a very good time to buy this. I mean, it could fall some more, it doesn't look strong, but anything below this line is a good purchase price. And that is at about the 10 cents mark. And what is our ultimate high if we were to go back, say, a year? Eh, that was our ultimate high. Her ultimate high here was 29 cents. And I do believe that if the sports NFTs go as big as I think and sports gaming goes as big as I think, I mean, I, I, I just can't say. Look, remember in the late 1990s when hardly anybody had a computer and nobody advertised online. Who the heck would advertise online? And if you had to make money online, you were obviously scamming somebody. But now, look at what it is 20 years later. Whoa, whoa, giant. It's, it, it changed the world. It changed how we do business. It changed how we live. This is what I'm talking about. This is an evolution to a bigger, bigger platform than this one-dimensional, two-dimensional platform as we're seeing. All right, let's go take a look at another one. Now, this company, VSQTF, has been involved with NFTs. They've been pushing on that here recently. And NFTs are part of the universe. But it's just the artwork hanging around inside. Someone else had to build everything for the artwork to be hung on. So to actually be building a metaverse compared to selling stuff that just goes in the metaverse is a huge difference. And this company looks like they are getting ready to get more involved with building metaverses. This is VSQTF currently at 33 cents. They did 4% gain today and this is a QX. We don't often get to see a QX. QX is the highest tier, the best transparency. They don't hide any information. You can get everything here about them. They could be on the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange if they had the right price probably. So what sort of volume did they do today? Not very good. They did about half of what they normally do. So they're under the radar by all means. And what's their share count look like? Hmm, 67 million, not bad. I mean, I'd be happy with 67 million. Of course, it could be worse, could be better. So it's not bad. Financials. Does this company have any meat on its bones? It does. It was making some little money, got good, got less, got less. This could be COVID time, absolutely, without a doubt. But they're already generating income, and there's been a big push here recently. Let's go take a look at that news. Like I said, it's always a, a bullet of the past. All right. You can see they had a share buyback program here. Uh, company Game On partners with NBA player backed NFT project. You know, NBAs and NFTs, that's going to make some good money. Here's another uh, part of their business. Their portfolio company, VS Digital Health, launches affiliated network with medical professionals. This was a big deal. Fantasy 360 Technologies, which is one of their subsidiaries, uh, bought a virtual reality company. So they've been really pushing at this. They've been doing a lot. And the news I want to show you isn't even here from what I can see. No, I actually found this online because it was back in June. Now, it's not that they're doing anything, but they hired someone. Immersive Tech announces the appointment of Metaverse leader Kathy Hackle to its board of directors. And you can read down here what she is all about. And she is a forward-thinking woman. And the whole point to bringing her on board is to build a metaverse. And she is there for that. We haven't seen anything. There's no recent news. But when you know where things are going, and obviously they did, which is why they brought her in just three months ago, they are ahead of the game, faster than we are. They're setting up to catch this, and they're building something. And there's not a lot here to talk about that. They're just talking about all that you can do with hyper immersion, what you can do with 3D, how grand this really can be, and we just don't know. I mean, we just don't know. And we're gonna be very excited to see it, and I'm sure we're gonna throw away our computers once we find out all we gotta do is wear this little hat, and da-da, you're in another world. We'll never see each other in real life again. All right, let's go take a look at the chart and see what this looks like. 
Okay, BSQTF six month for our pretty standard high back at the beginning of the year, which is literally when she hit her high. We don't like to see a high bubble here and a low bubble there. We normally like to see it the other way around, unless you're buying in and know something. So this is perfect. We're down here now. It's not exactly at its low. It was at 28 cents, we're at 33 cents pretty bloody close. I mean, literally, it, really, if it fell any further, there'd be no reason not to buy it because this company has got a person brought on board to work to build Metaverse. They're already working in Metaverse, so it's not a stretch. They bought a company that works strictly with virtual reality. I'm sure that's all part of the game plan too. So they're obviously getting ahead of the wave with their surfboard in place. We want to be there with them when they catch that wave. And we can see this is riding down. Let me back out. You can see the 200 is definitely on a downturn and slowly turning up. And all it needs is a kick. It needs a kick. It needs a piece of news. It needs, well, Bloomberg wasn't hurting today. When Bloomberg starts talking about it and Facebook starts promoting it, it's going to be something everybody wants to know about. And all of a sudden, the companies involved they're gonna run just like little oil companies run when oil prices go high. So this is a perfect time to buy in. We don't need to zoom in at five minutes. It really doesn't matter what it's doing today or gonna do tomorrow. It's what it's gonna do in the next three, six months, 12 months. I mean, now think about it. Computers took you know a decade to rip it up, but they grew and they grew fast. They grew very fast. You get into this now, you could be one of those people who say, I caught the metaverse explosion. Well, there you go, folks. A little peek hole into the metaverse. There is not a lot of companies, folks, that are down there. We didn't cover a couple that we've already covered. COSG, we talked about that the other day. Bones, uh, that we covered the other day. They're both involved in metaverse as well. But now you got to look at a few others that aren't up there in the highlights, aren't being talked about, but are already catching the wave and you want to catch it with them. So we're really here at a good time. You're going to remember this video. I'm telling you what, this is going to change the world. It's going to change your life. You think I'm exaggerating, folks. You know everything I say, if it is what it is, it is going to change in any companies and there are lots of other companies as a matter of fact take a look here right there that is a lot of peripheral companies you've got hardware companies and VR companies and lots of different aspects and facets that have to be taken care of to build these cities if you will to build these worlds so there are lots of other companies that are going to make lots of money through here. So we can expand our reach out to VR companies and AR companies and, you know, not just metaverse. There's going to be hardware companies. They're all going to make money. And we're going to be here first because I told you so. So go back, get that list, watch these stocks, get some of them. The ones you love, maybe sports, maybe movies. You know there's an endless supply of NFTs since you can make them out of nothing. They're so easy to make and everybody wants one and they're paying silly money for it. Do you know that over, oh, what is it? 500 million apps are already out for the metaverse. And in the first quarter of last year, they did 13 million. The last quarter of this year, that's one year, they did 10 billion plus. Folks, it's growing so tremendously fast right now and where money is gathering at quick points, so are people. Get ahead. Don't be the people in the back. Be the ones in the front getting smashed against the stage. <laughs> Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.